Hello. So today I thought I'd play some Marvel's Avengers. Uh, it's the game that I've been playing the most recently. Uh, it came out in September 2020. Got a bit of a bad start, not gonna lie. Um, it had a few bugs and glitches and things like that and so it got a really bad rap. It got a lot of hate. Strangely it still gets a lot of hate. Um, usually if I don't like a game I just kind of move on and don't play it. Uh, it's weird that a lot of um, YouTube and reviewers and things like that are still churning out videos saying how much they hate this game. It's like, move on, a bit weird. But um, but I love it, and there's a really nice community of, uh, of people who do play this and who love it still, and are obviously Marvel fans as well as you know fans of the game. So that's what my team looks like at the minute, and we're going to play Kate Bishop, who's on the far right. She's the newest DLC character. Uh, all the, the DLC character sort of downloadable content um, that's coming out for this game is free. So she was free, she was added to this game in December. She's my favourite character. Also she wears purple, so I, I do like that. Um, recently got the Black Widow costume on the left, which is uh, her sort of 90s short hair thing, which is how I always uh, saw Black Widow, because she was like that in all the comics. Uh, that I was reading at the time. So you got three campaign, three styles of campaign I guess. You got Taking Aim which is Kate Bishop's story, you got the main campaign which is the story mode of the game. Uh, the story mainly revolves around Miss Marvel, Kamala Khan, uh, and the story is amazing. So if you do get to play it, it try it's really good, really cinematic and great. Here's my cat making a cameo. Uh, she's been a bit restless today but she'll probably just lie behind me and go to sleep. There she goes. Yep, assume the position and she's gone. So yep, got a gaming buddy already. Uh, so back to this, yeah, the story mode's great, really, really recommend it. Uh, and then after that you have lots of missions, like character specific missions called iconic missions, and then lots of different types of uh, level to play as well, which is quite fun. So you go to the Avengers initiative, which is your sort of after game stuff. Um, and there's Kate Bishop wearing purple, my favorite color, so already a fan before I even played her. Um, yeah, today I got my X-Men t-shirt on though. It's got the, the 90s uh, characters on it from the, the cartoon Disney shop, got it from for Christmas. Uh, if you wanna get one, it's great. I'm quite glad that they've uh, got the rights back to the X-Men now that they can start churning out some more merch for it. So here we are uh, in the Helicarrier. That is Kate Bishop. Uh, Helicarrier is one of the sort of three outposts where you can wander around it, have a look around and see different places. So like there's Thor's bedroom, there's Kate Bishop's bedroom. And if you go in here, uh, yeah of targets, arrows, things like that, and uh, there's a man in the bed. Um, that is Hawkeye who is phasing in and out of time weirdly, if you can see that, uh, which is part of her storyline. So mild spoilers, um, but if you've seen the trailers and stuff like that you know that he's in it, so it doesn't matter. Um, Hawkeye apparently is coming out this month. Uh, it's New Year's Day today, um, 2021 won't say happy new year last year wasn't that happy for most of us um but hopefully this year is going to be a little bit better and looking good Nat. it's winter Russia. and it's snowing in some parts of the uk not here sadly i do love the snow so let's go somewhere snowy um these are all the different places that you can go these are all the different missions that you can do some of them when they've got a tick like that so all of them i've played once but sometimes they uh get reissued and have different things in them and the enemies like move around and change and things like that which is all quite nice so there's lots of different places that you can go and well, let's go to snowy tundra and uh we'll do a vault mission so go into the if you do the highest difficulty now that my k bishop is all beefed up it won't really matter um it's still quite tough in places but it just gets you better gear uh, so let's go on to that. Start the mission. Now I'm not going to go into 
uh, too much detail in terms of like the gear and all the things to do on this game because it's quite in depth but there's a lot to do and there's a lot to unlock um, I'll just show you here's what your team looks like on my team at the minute I've got uh, Hulk, Thor and Black Widow so you can have four people on your team per time so just go to launch mission and we get in the helicarrier fly there Greetings, we all stand around the helicarrier and Resistance it's super awkward has identified the location of another shield there you go aim appears to be in the area likely seeking the same oh, thing Thor showed up find the vault and recover its resources before our enemies have a chance to find it so that's Jarvis uh, from Iron Man the computer who never shuts up you'll hear him talk a lot it's one thing I would change if I could I wish that that you could just turn him off um, but he does tell you some helpful things sometimes if you haven't played it before so here we are landing and they just boot us out and there she is got a jacket on because it's cold I don't have the exact location of the vault your signal detector should pick up a shield frequency when you get close to its location Scout out the area ahead of you to locate it. There you go. So you just got to find the vault. When you get near to it, it gives you like a little radar and you just need to follow it there. But um, before that, there are lots of little things to do. You press up on the, the D-pad and you can see there's lots of little question marks in the distance. They are usually either points Search of interest or gear boxes. Um, signal detector should and it's always worth going to them, I quite like going to them. To These things you can attack and you get things from them that help you to either upgrade or build gear. So I'm going off fiery now because it's one of the the buffs that I've got on the character. Uh, like this, so you go to the gear. There's a gear that I've got at the minute. I've got um, cosmic tipped arrows. Uh, my sword gives off pim particles which are like hank pim uh, particles they uh, when you attack enemies uh, so much they go red and then they shrink and they go teeny tiny and then you can beat them up a bit more um, and other things that are basically all to do with my heroic um, special moves which I'll show you in a minute so yeah, we know that Kate Bishop is an archer. Here's the bow and arrow. Uh, so you've got three types of arrows. You've got these ones, which are just mainly Director normal Fury arrows. didn't mark this shield vault on any official maps. Yeah, we know. The only way to find them is by using the signal detector. Thanks, Jarvis. And then you can charge them up like this. And then your next one are scatter shot arrows, which are, so you just press left or right on the D-pad. And you've got many arrows. These are my favourite ones, they tend to do the most damage because they act as like several hits if you're close to someone. You can also charge those up so they go a bit wider spread and a bit more if powerful. If you want to find the location of the vault, you should scout the nearby area. See what I mean? He don't shut up. And then third arrows are explosive ones, so you can either shoot them like that or charge them up all the way and then shoot them a bit further or a bit higher. Bosh and just stick with the scatter shot arrows. She also has a sword, quantum sword. So in the story, she has stolen some aim tech, which is the quantum sword and teleportation. It's a bit like Nightcrawler, you can teleport like this, which is quite fun. Uh, so she doesn't do that in the comics, but she does now. So that's cool. You can the swords like that. Get out of the way of things, so that's a bit rude. And shoot the people with these explosive arrows and then detonate them. Like that. Oh, wow. That was another one. So, uh, these are your aim bots. have got all different powers and different types, so yeah, you're mostly fighting robots at the minute or uh, dudes with guns. I'm sure they're going to update it at some point with different baddies, but at the minute that's still quite fun. And I can see why they have robots, it makes it easier for you to be more violent to them, I suppose. 
so one of your powers you've got here is a teleportation arrow. Um, it means that I can shoot it and then teleport to that location. You can change the arrow so that uh, it takes like a, it makes a portal from where you are to where it goes, and it means that all your crew can go through it. So when you're playing with other people, you can teleport them, which is quite fun. But now we'll just do that. Look for a chest with gear. Took out a turret in the process. Here we are. So when you teleport, you can teleport two enemies as well. Oh, back where they turned down, you can revive them. It all seems a bit chaotic at the minute, but it's just how it is. Here's one of the Adaptoids, floaty Magneto style ones, so they have like, lots of debris floating around them. You can make like that. Oop, get out of the way. So you can target lots of parts of their body and then shoot them. And he's dead. Oh wow, they're all showing up to work. There's a lot. So you've also got smoke grenades. Smoke arrows, I think. Counter attacks. And I've also got a decoy. So you can pop a little decoy out and they'll start to still shoot me until she goes, there she is, and it shoots arrows, so there's my little purple decoy, and she shoots arrows at different people, and I can go and beat other people up, it's quite nice, and you teleport away, that's not very cool, take that, there we go, so when you've beaten them up a certain amount, you can do a takedown on them, which is like a finisher, uh, I quite like them. You get one mainly um, per character anyway, and then you unlock others, uh, and then two of them you can buy with the credits. Uh, if you go to your menu and go all the way to the right here, you've got this challenge card, um, and you can work your way through this by doing different challenges. So you have weekly ones down here, which tell you this one is like rescue hostages, three of six that I've done this week. And the other one is open DNA chests or strong boxes, sorry, in vault missions. We're on a vault mission now, so I might be able to show you uh, a DNA box. DNA keys you get from uh, completing like villain sectors. So you fight like Taskmaster, Abomination, or a big like metal mech. And uh, they give you DNA keys for defeating them. And then you go to vault missions and you can unlock these boxes and they give you lots of loot, which is great. You also have daily missions that... Um, they refresh, I think, at five o'clock every day-ish. And yeah, so these give you points and points means that you can go all the way along here and unlock things. So that's how I got this very costume by unlocking it. And that's how you get different takedowns. So yeah, you unlock, I think, two takedowns in this one. Uh, there's one. So yeah, that's your challenge card. Uh, anyway, so we're trying to get to this, I don't know whether you can see it, but the little uh, icon that's in there is a chest inside this room. So we step on one button, goes blue, step on another button, goes blue. Third one, and then get out. Race all the way around here to the last one goes green, door opens. So there's three or four different types of uh, those things. One of them is something you have to shoot, one of them is something you have to hit, um, another one is sort of uh, timed ones, and then this. Although no, the timed ones are ones you have to shoot. So yeah, there's only three. Uh, there you go, so you've got a loot box, which gives you stuff. So this is a, mainly a looter game that's what it is so it has a story mode the story mode's great but that gets you to this it's like a live service game um where you play with friends and 
go to do different missions, a little bit like sort of Destiny and um, like I guess World of Warcraft, things like that, where you go in places to get more loot to level up your character and yeah, have fun. So if you're thinking of buying it, that's what it is. Okay, let's get this guy again. Now, with his maybe this one again, so it's handy. Got oh, I was going to do the takedown, but someone else took it out. So that's uh, one of the drawbacks of having uh, teammates with you is that if you're trying to take someone out or do a challenge card where it's like you do 50 takedowns in a week uh, and you're trying to get the takedown, sometimes someone will cut in and do it. Across you. These are health tanks, so you chop them, gives you little health regen packs. Don't need any health, but I just thought I'd say. So usually there's a chest up there, like a hidden one. Uh, so let's go up there. Teleport in. So sometimes there's a little dude in here. Yeah, here he is. Oh, Widow's already up here. Alright, Hulk. Chill out. He must be freezing. He's just in his pants, isn't he? Or oh, trousers, I guess. There we go. Yeah, trousers, but. There we go. Let's kill these guys. Snowy ones at the moment. So, if you shoot teleportation arrows into places where there's lots of people, it makes them all fly into the air and there's a bit of damage to them, which is quite nice. Like these guys. And let's go and see who else needs a bit. There's a chest with gear close by. And they're dead. So sometimes they drop gear like that. The blue and green gear when you're um, quite leveled up, like quite far, it's a bit useless, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, so there's a chest up there. Usually there's a DNA chest up there, so hopefully you can go and get some nice stuff from it. Teleportation, very, very handy. These. Here's the strong box that we want. This should give us some nice things. Or not. Ah, there it is. So these blue DNA chests are what I mentioned earlier. I've got one DNA key left, so I can open one on this level. But as you can see, it gives you quite a lot of loot. Still giving me loot. Cool. So we've done that. Now, as you can see on the left hand side, there is now the little radar that is leading us to uh, the vault. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the cat is spark out behind me. There you go. So that's where we're going to go. Um, I'll do a couple more of the uh, chests. Now you can see there's loads of enemies down there. They're all about to shoot at me. Get down there quickly. Kick to the face. See everyone getting in on the action. As soon as I start attacking someone, they're all like, hey, wait a minute, and then you say, attack in the Cool. Right, so 
Yes, press up on the D-pad and you'll see all the other question marks. There's a lot on this mission, maybe I won't do them all. Uh, but yeah, if we want to go over there, let's do our little arrow thing. There's an elite aim unit near you. Defeat them and you may gain something useful. Let's grab some of these. You can sometimes sneak up on guys like that. So if I do the quantum overdrive now, which is my special, then your sword, for one of the powers, goes all the devil may cry and shoots out these like crazy bolts of energy. I quite like it. still going so it, it lasts for a few seconds but it's quite handy a bit overpowered I think probably because of the gear that I've got now it just looks pretty though doesn't it right so that was one of the uh, question marks the little quest things um, to kill that guy the other ones are over here as you can see in the corner Let's go over there. A shield ally is in trouble nearby and needs your help. So, I think some ranged character. Everyone's kind of ranged, but there's certain people who uh, can't hit, hit targets that are very far away. Um, but Kate Bishop can, so you can take out the turrets. Let's get the health back because there's some people. Me quite a bit. Here we go. Out. Got eyes on the enemy. So what I mean by that, um, whereas there's characters like uh, Iron Man, Black Widow, and K Bishop who can uh, shoot long range like sniper people. Um, there's characters like Thor who uh, kind of throws a hammer, throw me all near, and it kind of arcs and then stops. It will stop eventually, uh, and then you can sort of retrieve it back to him. Uh, a little bit like Kratos' uh, axe in God of War, uh, and obviously like he does in the film and in the comics as well. Um, Hulk throws rocks, and they're kind of arced as well. And go just saved an inhuman. This inhuman dude turns up, teleports. And takes them away. Bye. Um, and uh, Cap's shield only goes so far and then comes back to him. So that's what I mean by you can take things out long range. Uh, right, so we've done a couple of these. Let's go and find another one and then we'll go to the actual vault. So yeah, I've always been um, a comic book fan, mainly read um, X-Men, uh, Batman, Tank Girl, and some Spider-Man, um, all when I was younger in my teen years. But now I mainly read uh, X-Men, Captain Marvel, whenever I want to. I don't get uh, too much chance to, to read comics until last year, obviously, with lockdowns. Uh, but... Yeah, I mean, I have read a couple of Avengers comics uh, in the past. They just weren't my jam. I do really enjoy the films, though, and really loving this game. There we go, a random box. So sometimes there's these like little bronze boxes. They pretty much just give you units and Uru, um, whatever that is. But they're worth picking up. And those credits can mean that you can buy stuff on the helicarrier from that lady that constantly chats about coffee. So they are quite handy to pick up. She's enjoying making us all invisible as often as possible. Oh, 
closure. When they fall off the edge like that, sometimes they die if it's a, a high ledge, but if it's just a truck like that, we're going to have to get the last hit in. Um, let's go over here. So we're getting closer and closer to the actual vault. Still might do a couple of these just to show you what they're like. Uh, just a couple of these side missions. Or if you follow uh, Girlfriend Reviews, they're all up a minute. I watch that channel, they're quite funny. Although they slagged off this game quite severely. And then they made some uh, really nice video about Cyberpunk, even though that was kind of messed up on consoles, but it's not on PC, so fine. And I'm sure they'll fix it, just like they kind of fix this, basically. Oh, wow, that guy's nailing me with stuff. But it is a great channel. Um, last year as well, because of this game, I started to watch uh, a channel called Super Rebel, which is a, a British guy who makes videos about the Avengers. They're quite fun little videos. Um, I do do an impression of that guy as well, uh, from my other half. Uh, I won't do it right now, just in case he ever does watch one of, the, one of these videos. But, um, but yeah, he kind of says the same thing at the beginning of every video, which is obviously for consistency. And um, and he's got a quite distinctive voice. Oh, that was me not concentrating. Ah, I'm just getting absolutely rinsed now. It's time to do toy up. Like what's going? Too busy chatting. There we go. I think everyone's dead. Kind of wasted the decoy. So these yellow things that people drop are to replenish your special moves, your heroic abilities as it calls them. Um, and they're the ones that are in the bottom right hand corner. So you've got three heroic abilities which is the decoy, that quantum overdrive um, big purple craziness that I showed you earlier and the teleport arrows. So to get in here there's uh, a different way of doing it. I think it's um, things that you have to hit. So let's go and look. Yeah, it's these things. So these kind of look like pin boards. Remember those ones where you put your face in the board and it leaves an imprint of your face? They kind of look like that. Yeah. So you just have to hit that one and it opens the door. Sometimes there's three or four of those dotted around the building and you just, yeah, you have to hit them all in a certain amount of time. But that one was quite easy. It's not necessary, but whatever. Right, so here is the shield wall. So I've still got lots to do. Usually if I was playing this to get some loot uh, and not just showing you folks what it's like, um, I would probably do all of these. Um, it's probably worth just activating the vault anyway. So here's your shield vault. Little shield manhole you cover there, very the covert. The shield vault. Please step Starts inside right. and take the elevator down. There we go. So might just do one or two more of these, um, just to see what's around. There's some nice ones over here. So let's go. And then we can go back and go down into the shield vault. But at least we don't have. Jarvis chatting about that constantly now. But yeah, as I say, I'm really enjoying this game. And not just because it's Marvel, but the gameplay is really fun. Obviously, I you know, bought it because it was the Avengers. Um, and they do have a lot of sort of special moves and fighting styles from the movies. You can tell that they've watched the, the movies and... Um, and been influenced by them, especially people like Black Widow and Captain America. They've got a lot of special moves that you'll see in um, films like uh, Winter Soldier. So, yeah, it's it's fun, if, especially if you're a, you know a Marvel fan, and especially if you enjoy the MCU. Right, so a lot of people here, so I'm going to do a play again. Probably start on that. Ooh, there's two. It's 
all about dodging. Ugh, didn't dodge so well. Now a few arrows. we were looking for but yeah as I say I've really really enjoyed this um, and very much looking forward to the new characters that are coming out um, Hawkeye is meant to come out in January so this month as far as I'm aware so that will complete Kate Bishop's story and it's the other half to the, the story that she started on this one so that's quite nice um, I mean, I'd wish that there was a different character coming, just because we've already got an archer here. So uh, I'd prefer it if it wasn't another archer, but you know, doesn't matter. Um, they've probably got their reasons, and I'm sure he's going to be great. Because I was a bit skeptical about Kate Bishop until I saw the, the trailer and then started playing her, and you can see how much fun she is. She's great to play. Uh, oh, there's a box here. I just spotted. Let's open that too. See, a lot of boxes, a lot of looting. Uh, just pinching off aim. So let's follow Tinkerbell. All the way back to that vault. I'm going to go down into the vault now. Um, characters that are meant to be coming out, I think, for this game are Black Panther pretty soon. And then... Uh, Spider-Man for PS4 and PS5, which is exclusive. I'm not a massive fan of exclusives like that. I think it sucks for people who have just, you know, got a, an Xbox. I know that why they do it, and it's fine. But I wish everyone could, just, you know, get along and all have the same opportunity. But hey, it's just how it is. I suppose it's all business. And Sony love their Spider-Man. Um, but the characters that I think I'm most looking forward to and hope that we get would be obviously Captain Marvel, and, uh, Doctor Strange and Scarlet Witch, which in 14 days has her own TV series, the WandaVision TV series should be out. Very much looking forward to that, it looks tricky, it looks like it's going to start off, oh didn't open that, shot on her own instead. It uh, looks like it's going to start off the co the whole sort of House of M style thing, which if you've read the comics, it's a good story. Whoa, shooting rocks at me. And um, probably will set up uh, Scarlet Witch being a villain, I think, maybe. Villain style person in the MCU, I think, just because of her reality warping powers. I think she'll probably go a bit crazy like she did in the comics. But that's just, you know, one of my theories. Because obviously she's been getting more and more powerful in the movies. So. Oh, that's stuck in a little quantum trap. This little teleporting guy's gonna get it. Oh no, he's dead already. See what I mean about everyone just taking the kill? To be fair, in this level, there's so many bad guys. It's probably a good thing that I have got my mates here. Doing a take down. Yeah. Nice. That's one of Black Widow's special moves. She's got this like crazy red lightning taser stick she makes out of her tomfa. She puts it together and makes a, a staff with them. It's pretty cool. Right, let's go grab what we left and go down to the vault.
We, there's always like a left a loading screen, as we know. The automated systems are recognizing you. Yep. Please proceed to the activation area Stop down thinking. below. Do you also have emotes on this game? I tend to only use them when I'm in situations like this where it's super. Can I just have an over a bit? <laughs> I was Hello. kidding. <laughs> Never mind. One really nice touch on this game because there is so many uh, elevators obviously loading the next part of the level. Uh, is that they all have really funny little conversations between each other. Some of them um, are a little bit poignant. Activate its main terminal so we can begin. Uh, some of them are a little bit poignant about the the actual story mode, um, and some of them uh, are quite nice, like little funny jibes or references to the comics or movies and stuff like that. So they're quite nice to to have. Um, I like that they've they've done something like that. So here we are in the shield vault. Now you'll see how much of a faff it is to get into the vault. If Nick Fury has to do this every time he wants some stuff. It must be such a ball like fair play. But so we go down here. And whenever you go into a vault, you're usually on the left hand side here. There is a box. Here we go. Now these vaults, you have to, you get given a code, three or two or three digit code, and you have to go and stand on the corresponding number that's in the code. So this one's number three. Over here's number five. So these will change every time you do a vault, they'll be different. Um, but there, so the numbers will stay the same in this room, but when you come back to do another vault, the numbers will be in a different order. So there's three and five there. There's one in the middle here, which is number two. So three and five are on one side, one and four are on the other, and number two is in the middle, and that's what you've got to remember. So this is what I mean. So number four's there, and number one's there. So now you go and start the sequence. So you stand on this platform, start the sequence up there, it'll give you the numbers that you've got to go and stand on, all the while while getting attacked, and then you come back to this platform, stand on here um, for it to do its sort of defense mechanism thing, and for the timer to go uh, across. And when it hits 100, it lets out this pulse and kills everyone, and then you start the next sequence. I'll show you now. So, hack this little terminal. The vault remains so intact. two and three. So Complete we know two is to in the middle the here. So you stand on it until it goes green. Code yep. And now people start coming in. There you go. Numbers are small. And number three. Cheeky couple of takedowns there. I quite like it when they teleport in and you can do like an instant kill. It's quite fun. There you go, so you gotta go and stand on that. So this is when I usually do this. So you've got a uh, stone tablet kind of thing. There's, there's basically different buffs, that is a defense buff. So you just stand on here, make it go blue, you just gotta stay here until the bar on the left goes all the way across. And just defend it. These little fiery guys are annoying, they just explode. Just kamikaze gentlemen. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Hulk just nailed it in the back of the head. Okay. You just have to stand here and defend it. Um, there's other levels that are a bit like this where you have to stand on a platform and defend it, but the. Um, the place where you have to defend is tiny, which is really annoying, but this is not too bad. I quite like doing vault missions. And they get you some nice stuff as well. Shoot all these guys. Right, there's a hacker, so when you find that out, you have to go and find them, which is usually this red thing here. So the hacker means that uh, he will reset the whole thing. You have to do it all again. So you go and get them first. Come back here and it 
continues the blue bar going across. Seem to have killed everyone, which is nice. Hulk's got his favourite rock with him. Bless him. Security boulder. There we go. And there's your EMP. So that, if there was any enemies left, that would take them out instantly, which is quite nice. And you've got two more to do. So, two, three, five this time. So two and three again. Good. Most of the time I just concentrate on doing the numbers and don't actually fight because you are timed when you're doing this. Apart from when they're back Still got So, number five. I think it was in the same room actually, wasn't it? There we go. This will hurt! Usually they're on opposite sides and you have to go from one side to the other, but that one was nice and easy. Right, so let's set up the decoy here so it's everyone shoots this, because there'll probably be more kind of bad guys this time. And then just shoot everyone. There we go. Some quality dodge in there. Oh, and there's another round of dying. They did. Oh, nice one, Black Widow. Thanks, Lady. Right. Good boy. So obviously, if you were playing with other people, you don't need one person to stay here and make sure that the line's going across. Um, but with it just being me, I have to stay here, do the whole thing myself. And they can go and fight people on the way. Don't blow up. Waste that? I did. Excellent. A mighty victory! Yep, we just stand here and emote. I think the cat's dreaming. <laughs> just <laughs> heard a little whimper. <laughs> Probably dreaming about not getting fed. She does get fed a lot, but <laughs> she does whine when she doesn't. You know that cat thing where their bowl's half full and that means that you're never going to feed them again and that you're, you're not feeding them. So that was number three. Number four was over the other side. Yeah, she's a bit like that. She needs a, a, a full bowl of water and food. Uh, so number four which should be here. Up over here. Stop it. Drop kick to the face. Right, now we can carry on doing number four. Timer was about to run out on that one. It's because I had to go and get that other guy. Alright, so number five should be here. And there's just number one. Ooh, hello. Number one is over here. Let's try and dodge everyone so the timer doesn't run out. And a ball. Out of the way. Um, 
we go back to where we was. Right, so activate decoy. So if I shoot people enough times, you should see, yeah, they go yellow and you get the cosmic energy coming from them. And that is like little arcs of yellow lightning that go from them to me and give me health. Oh, there's a little hacker over there. Let's go head him off. And then we go back. too bad. Sometimes you get absolutely overwhelmed. Um, there we go, bolts open. Sometimes you get absolutely overwhelmed with uh, enemies. It's not great um, when that happens just because you've just got to stay on the square as much as you can and sometimes when you dodge it'll take you out of the square so yeah you just have to watch what you're doing but yeah then you just have a mooch around and see if there's anything that people have dropped that you might need. Don't really need those. Don't think there's anything else to pick up. Nope. So now we can go into the big vault and get some stuff. So there's usually three boxes in here. This one. And this one. Hulk's just bumbling around breaking all these boxes. Thank you very much. Last ones. And that's your last box. And this is the one that usually has the best stuff in it. Saying that. I mean, none of this gear I really need at the minute but it's cool, so that's how you do a vault. You just have to press this, and that is the end of the mission. So these all start to lock, and you're free to emote. Whoop. Mission success. There you go. Another shield vault successfully secured and kept out of the hands of aim. That's it, so that's a little bit of Kate Bishop play, and yeah, I'm still having fun with her, loving what she does. The story mode for her is great, as I mentioned, so uh, if you get a chance Excellent to play that, work, Avengers. definitely With this vault recovered, we've bolstered our resources and are one step closer to fully rebuilding shields. Nice. Our agents in the field will continue searching for more hidden vaults, as this certainly wasn't the last one. Here we go. Um, so, yeah, I think... Um, a lot of this is all still in flux um, in terms of like, you know, they'll change gameplay, they'll change some uh, missions, they're going to add a lot more stuff. And also I think they're going to probably um, add different areas. So there'll be like Wakanda when uh, Black Panther turns up and then we'll have Hawkeye obviously uh, pretty soon. And then they'll just keep adding characters as it goes, hopefully as the player base sort of raises and people play it a bit more but it is a lot of fun i have to admit um i was skeptical about it when i first heard about it just because i thought that it might be um 
a sort of retread of Ultimate Alliance, and I do love the first uh, Ultimate Alliance games, the first two. The third one's okay, but it felt more like a sort of a weird mobile game than um, than an Ultimate Alliance game. And yeah, I, I have to admit, really, really impressed with this. It's a lot of fun. It's not for everyone, as you can tell um, on the internet, there's a lot of people that dislike it, but yeah, hate gets you clicks. So some people make videos still hating on it, as I mentioned before, um, even now, months later. Uh, but give it a go if it's on offer and uh, you wanna give it a chance and hope this has helped. Um, I might play this again at some point, maybe play some of the other characters, but yeah, I, I do really, really enjoy it and still got lots to do on here. Um, I'll take you to one of the other places super quick just before we finish, um, which is here you can go to uh, Shield Substation Zero, which uh, is a, a new area that got added when Kate Bishop was added as well. And this is one that you can have a walk around, um, see different people and chat to them. Getting all that nervous energy out, look at her. Here we are. So this is another one, like the Helicarrier that we saw at the beginning. So this got added when Kate Bishop got added. See there's little purple arrows there, so that was part of her story. You never used to be able to run uh, in this, you could sort of do this jog, but you couldn't dash. When they added that, it was so helpful. So you got this guy, hey, come on over. Faction Bender, who Is gives you Levine? slightly better Maybe gear, slightly better uh, perks here, and upgrade modules. Better luck next time, huh? And then, yeah, this shield substation, lots of people working. Looks a little bit like a call center. Uh, imagine that if shield hey, had their own call center. A second? And uh, this lady who gives you missions. So here's the info we have. Hopefully, it's enough. These are your daily missions. So this one, villain sector, is going to fight abomination. Then you've got all these different little challenges. So defeat three adaptoids. Uh, complete any war zone. So you just basically activate all of them. And then when you go and do a mission, usually it ticks them all off and you get <laughs> loads of points or um, upgrades, little module things for them. Uh, yeah, you've got another one as well, so that's Maria Hill in there, working away. You can't really have shield without Maria Hill. There's another one of those robots that gives you gear. Another vendor. You go in here. And that was added as part of Kate's story, so uh, when you see that, you'll see who gets put in there. And then if you go around the corner here, it's Dum Dum Dugan from the Howling Commandos from Captain America. I'm not too sure how he's got to the future don't really know that much about his character just know that that's him and he just says your name whenever you go near him and then he just carries on looking at the shotgun fair play uh, so yeah that's uh, another place I'm gonna make another cup of tea and probably play a bit more of this and then uh, I need to carry on with my Buffy playthrough as well um, my retro gaming playthrough but I hope you all enjoyed this and uh, I might do another one of these um, maybe in a few days time or maybe next week I'll play another character. If there is a character that you want to see and you haven't got the game, uh, maybe have a look in the comments and, and let me know who you'd like to see me play. Um, sorry about the uh, edit there. Um, <laughs> the memory on my phone uh, got full up. So just deleted a bunch of stuff and just thought I'd say a proper goodbye. Um, Cat is still here, still sleeping away. Oh, look who's awake.
There we go. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that was fun. I, I like that. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, do all the usual YouTube things underneath as well. Uh, thank you to all the people that already followed me. This is a completely new thing for me. Um, so uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And um, yeah, thanks for all the, the really nice feedback. Till next time, bye.